the day of Pentecost had fully come. Connecting Passover to Pentecost. And you shall count, beginning from the day after the Sabbath, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, fifty days. From Passover to Pentecost, freedom to inheritance. Leviticus 23, 15-16 You shall count seven full weeks from the day after the Sabbath, from the day that you brought the sheaf of the wave offering. You shall count fifty days to the day after the seventh Sabbath. Then you shall present a grain offering of new grain to the Lord. Here I am, ready to perform the mitzvah of counting the Omer. Blessed are you, Eternal One, our God, and Source of all life. You, Most High, have sanctified us with your word, your truth. You have made us clean with your righteousness, the living word, Yahshua the Messiah, and instructed us concerning the counting of the Omer. Psalm 67 God be merciful unto us, and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Selah. That thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Selah. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Seventh of Weeks Awaiting the Promised Gift of the Spirit Day 47 Of Glory Within Kingdom Today is the sixth week, plus five days of the Omer. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Psalm 67, verse 5. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Shalom, friends of God. Today is the third day of the third month, the month Savan. Only three days left until the day of the proclamation, the day of the revelation of God. Let's get ready to meet him once again. It's your anniversary, the day he established to Moed, to meet with us. This is our anniversary. Just like you have anniversaries for your birth, anniversaries for your marriages, etc., this is our time to celebrate him. The 6th of Savan is Shavuot, the Feast of Weeks, Pentecost, the outpouring of the Spirit, and the outpouring of the Word of God, the Ten Commandments. We're meeting at 1 o'clock live at SAR, and we're hoping to see you there. Remember, this is a Sabbath, so if you're able, come on out and let's honor our Father. So for now, here's the blessing and information about the third month, the month of Savan. Baruch Hashem, bless the name of Yah. Savan is the third biblical month and the ninth civil month. So no matter where you place this month, either in the civil calendar, which places it as the ninth month, or the redeemed calendar, which places it as the third month of the year, no matter where you place it, both are a type of birthing. The third day rising up from the earth, breaking forth, as well as nine, representing nine months of pregnancy. It's even called the birthing of the church. 
This is the month of the assembly in the wilderness. This is the month when God gave the Torah to Israel and when the Spirit of God was poured out, the giving of the Torah in our hearts. This month is associated with the tribe of Zebulun, meaning a habitation or to dwell with. And that is exactly what our Father did. He sent the Spirit of His Son to make a habitation and to dwell with us. Emmanuel, God with us. And the tribe of Zebulun was positioned to the east of the tabernacle. So arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord, Yahshua, His face has risen upon you. This is the month of the betrothal, the month God shines His light of love upon us, sealing us with His word and His spirit. As Yahshua said, sanctify them with thy truth. Thy law, thy word is the truth. We are set apart and sanctified by his Torah, his word, sealed by his spirit. This is the seal that gets us to tabernacle with him in the final conclusion of the feast, the Feast of Tabernacles, when we will dwell with him. So let's now prepare for the blessing, the Rosh Kodesh blessing for the third month, the month of Savan. Blessed Father and King, with your word you created the heavens and the hosts of them. A rule and a schedule did you give them that they not alter their assigned task. They are joyous and happy to perform the will of their creator, the one who does truth. To the moon he said that it should renew itself as a crown of splendor for those carried by him from the womb, those who are destined to renew themselves like it and to glorify their molder for the sake of his glorious kingdom. Blessed are you, Abba Yah, our King, Helper, Savior, and Shield, who renews us and the months. May it be thy will, Lord, our God, and God of our fathers, that you renew to us your grace and mercy. Please bless us with a life of health and peace, a life of goodness and blessing, a life of substance, a life in which we reverence your holy name and resist sin a life in which there is no shame or humiliation, a life of wealth and honor, a life in which we love your Torah and delight to do your will. We ask you, Father, to fulfill the request of our hearts, and we seal this prayer of the new month in Yeshua's name. Amen. <laughs>